Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss about the reductions of carboxylic acid, carboxylic ester as well as carboxylic acid chlorides with boron. So boron basically exists as a dimer due to H6 but here I have written BH3 just for the simplicity. So you can see that in these three reaction categories, the first reaction is the reduction of carboxylic acids by boron so typically the reaction is fast and it obviously produces a saturated alcohol the second reaction is basically the reduction of carboxylic acid ester molecules the same situation is also applicable here and the products are basically an alcohol or rather two alcohols this R dash OH part is basically coming from this OR dash and this carbonyl group is basically reduced and we are getting this alcohol and in the third category the reduction of carboxylic acid chlorides by boron does not occur that is no reaction takes place between boron and carboxylic acid chloride and thereby no reduction is actually takes place so we will discuss what is the reason behind this so as we all know that boron is basically a highly electron deficient species and its electron deficiency is coming from its vacant 2p orbital of the boron atom the central boron atom and that's why due to its high electron deficiency it behaves always as a Lewis acid so during the reaction or during the reductions this boron will look for any Lewis basic centers present in the reacting molecules so for example in case of carboxylic acids the Lewis basic centers are basically these two oxygen atoms which obviously possess two lone pairs each in case of ester molecule also the most nucleophilic or the most Lewis basic center is obviously this sp2 hybridized oxygen atom center because after the attack we will get this attack And obviously, this adduct will be stabilized by the conjugation of this adjacent ethoxide unit and it will be thereby stabilized via this conjugation. However, this type of conjugation which is a stabilizing factor will not be observed if this sp3 oxygen atom is attacked by the boron and that's why this sp2 hybridized oxygen will be attacked by the boron molecule. But in case of carboxylic acids, these two had these two oxygen atom centers are basically equivalent why this is so because due to extreme conjugation they basically adopts this resonant hybrid where both of these oxygen atoms are equally negatively charged and this hydrogen atom will process a unit negative unit positive charge and it will remain as a counter cation so in case of acid chlorides which will be the most nucleophilic center obviously in this case also the oxygen center will be the most nucleophilic center and it will, it will possess the lewis base character so boron will attack these Lewis basic centers first and then it will transfer one of its hydrogen atoms as hydride to the electrophilic or electron deficient carbonyl carbon atoms so let me show you the mechanism then it will be easy for you to understand so if you consider a simple carbonyl compound so initially this oxygen lone pair will be 
attacked by this boron which has an sp2 hybridized boron center and after the attack or after the formation of the lewis acid base attack the boron center will immediately be converted into an sp3 center it will now possess a negative charge and this oxygen atom will possess a positive charge and then one of this hydrogen will transfer as hydride and the reduction process will proceed finally we will get this compound or intermediate and then after the these two hydrogen will also react with the unreacted ketones and finally after the aqueous workup we will get the desired alcohols so this is the mechanism so you can clearly see that the initial step that is the lewis acid base adduct formation is crucial for reduction by boron molecules so here if you consider these three molecules the least nucleophilic oxygen center is this one why this is so this is because as we know chlorine has an electronegativity 3.16 and oxygen has an electronegativity 3.44 However, in this carbonyl group, the principal quantum number for oxygen as well as carbon is 2. But in case of chlorine, the principal quantum number is 3. So as we can see, if chlorine uses its lone pair to undergo this kind of conjugation, Thus, that kind of conjugation will be energetically unfavorable due to the mismatch in energy of the orbitals. And that's why between the plus R effect and the minus I effect of chlorine, chlorine has obviously two effects. One is plus R effect and another is minus I effect. So this plus R effect will be not so prominent due to the mismatch in energy however this minus i effect will be dominant here and due to this reason this carbon chlorine bond pair will be withdrawn towards this chlorine center and this will make this carbonyl carbon very electron deficient or electrophilic so del plus character will be there However, due to this electron, due to this uh, increased electrophilicity or increased electronegativity of this carbonyl carbon atom, the oxygen atom will also experience some electron deficiency or rather its nucleophilic property will be diminished. You understand that chlorine is pulling the electron, thereby making this carbon electron deficient this carbon will also pull some electrons from this oxygen atom thereby making it less nucleophilic and less nucleophilic means this oxygen atom will behave as less lewis base towards the boron center and that's why basically the reaction does not take place between acid chlorides and boron and that's why no reduction products will be obtained after the reaction so this is the situation for acid chlorides so now let us consider the a star molecule in case of a star as you can see this type of conjugation will be very prominent because the oxygen carbon and this oxygen all has the principal quantum number of the outer shell is 2 and that's why there will be no problem in the conjugation the stabilization via conjugation and due to this reason this particular oxygen will be moderately nucleophilic however after the conjugation there will be a charge separation 
like this. But this type of charge separation will be not observed in case of carboxylic acids. So as soon as in case of carboxylic acids, this lone pair will form a double bond here and this carbon oxygen double bond will break. However, during this process, this particular hydrogen atom will be shifted over this oxygen and the new structure will be this one. So here basically no charge separation will be observed and due to that reason the sp2 hybridized oxygen atom of carboxylic acids are more nucleophilic than the sp2 hybridized oxygen atom of the ester molecules and that's why carboxylic acids react faster with borane but esters react comparatively slower than the carboxylic acids towards the borane molecules and that's why we will see this kind of results so in case of carboxylic acids we will get a faster reduction with borane as a reducing agent in case of ester the reduction will take place but it will be very slow and in case of carboxylic acid chlorides no reaction is basically observed so the reason now you know the reason behind this so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video